Every time I talk to a person that wants to get into real estate and start investing capital to make more money, uh, they just, you know, everybody doesn't know the entire scope of real estate and how the whole process works. So it's like when you're investing in real estate, you know, obviously the numbers are the number one most important thing, but you also have to know how to manage the property, how to build a team, how to grow the income levels at the property so you can force appreciation and make the property much stronger. So I think those are some of the components to creating success. And you have to know how to use debt really well because you have to use debt to expand. Uh, you know, a lot of people think debt is bad and you shouldn't have any debt, but debt is actually necessary to become more successful because you need to borrow money so you can acquire more assets and generate more revenues. That's the whole uh, basis of investing in real estate is mastering the art of debt. And then there's other companies like uh, big companies like Microsoft. Uh, there's you know companies all over the world that are massive companies that have a lot of money, but they still use debt because they need it to grow. Even Apple uses a lot of debt. Uh, so you know every company, uh, every company that you know of most likely uses debt. So uh, I think it's just something that you have to have a mindset mindset shift for because you have to wrap your head around how to use debt to grow your company. And you need mortgages, you need credit lines, you need construction loans, you need all of these different facilities to create more success investing in real estate. So, so you got the numbers of it all, you got the financing and debts, uh, you got to manage the property, you got to find the property too. So you got to go out and build relationships. I'm always harping on this all the time on a regular basis, how you have to connect with people that can help you put deals together and connecting with owners of properties that potentially may sell. I think one of the biggest segments for people that want to sell real estate is uh, the person that is maybe gotten older. Maybe they're in their 60s or 70s and they own 150 or 200 units, but you know they don't have anyone in their family that they can pass it down to or uh, you know hand it off to. So they have to sell it, and that's a huge demographic that I think. Uh, you should be capitalizing on because that's how we're actually acquiring deals is because we're connecting with people that are a little bit older and they want to just kind of get out of the business and maybe it's become too much for them or they don't have the staff or they can't do it all themselves so you know that's that's a segment that uh, you should look out for too when you're we're looking to acquire more deals so there's a whole puzzle to putting multifamily real estate investing together so you have to master that puzzle put all the pieces together and you know, put a formula together that is actually gonna help you grow and succeed investing in real estate. The greatest thing about investing in real estate, it's almost like uh, Carnegie once said, he said 90% of all millionaires invest into real estate. So it's so critical to get into real estate. And if you have capital and you can put it into a real estate project, let's say the project generates $30,000 per year and that's your net operating income. And then after debt service and everything, let's say you know you have 15,000 a year. So if that's the case, if you invest uh, say $50,000, it'll take you three and a half to four years to recoup that money back, and then you'll have the deal for essentially free. So there's, there's a lot of pluses to real estate. You just have to figure out the formula, get the numbers together, and find your first deal, and then start locking deals down uh, for the long term.